Senator Cagnon, to wrap up. Thank you, Chair. My question has to do with the value of uh, buildings in Quebec. We have an organization called uh, the uh, it's really a real estate self-regulation association, which make recommendations to uh, real estate uh, brokers whether as to whether they should uh, report whether the property has uh, been used to grow cannabis. And uh, obviously they suggest that this be reported to make sure that uh, there are no problems with uh, hidden flaws, mold and so forth. But they are seeing a tendency on the part of some people not to report these things because it affects the value of the buildings. So you as a represent the representative of uh, this association, uh, an owner's association, what are you concerned about? Was this a concern, the, the value of the property? Has this been raised by your members? as to uh, whether the cannabis is being grown in those properties? Um, yes, it is a concern. Um, the whole point of the municipal marijuana grow up remediation bylaws was to make, um, to, to have the police report to the public authorities so that then someone couldn't hide the fact, someone couldn't not disclose the fact that their, their property had been used and then they went beyond that to require remediation and then the municipal verification of the adequacy of the remediation. And certainly that um, took hundreds of thousands of dollars off the value even of a single family home that had been used as an MGO, say in the city of Ottawa. Um, the um, question of reporting, um, again, I, I almost think this is a third level consequence of what, what is done today and what is done by the provinces. So I find it difficult to predict um, how that will play out, um, whether everyone will be you know, satisfied that, um, well, fine marijuana was grown in this, this house, but it was, you know, the, feder the limit was four plants, so it must be fine and no one pays any attention, or whether people are still concerned. I mean, I don't know how that's going to play out in the marketplace. Um, and certainly with respect to larger owners, well, you know, I, I don't know if you'll find this shocking. I found it a bit shocking. But most commercial illegal MGOs take place in single-family homes. But some of them take place in, in apartments in apartment buildings. Believe it or not, some in some buildings, there have been cases where people have trucked the fertilizer, the plants, the whole thing through the hallway. I don't know how they managed to keep it a secret from their neighbors. But the landlord often finds out when all of a sudden the power bill goes up like a bandit and they go hunting around and they find this one apartment which is an MGO. Um, and, and again, that will still be illegal, obviously. Um, but, but certainly all, all kinds of things happen and, and we, we don't know where and when and we're trying to struggle how to minimize the negative effects.